We're going to learn how to do surface area of cylinders in this video. There's a picture of a real life cylinder on the screen also, a can of soup, and then we have two regular um, 3D models that we'll be looking at as well. So a cylinder is a type of prism. Um, here's the view when it's drawn in a 3D perspective. The height of the cylinder goes from top to bottom, of course. And then this is a picture of it when you unfold it or it becomes a net. Um, you have two circles, the bases, the top and the bottom. But then the sides that curve around when it's unfolded, it just makes one big long rectangle. Um, this is the net, um, that's what we call it. And then lateral surface area, if you think about a real life can, the wrapper that goes around the can that tells you the ingredients and what type of soup it is, that piece of paper would be this rectangle and that would be the lateral surface. If you're asked to only find lateral, you're trying to find what goes around the outside, which would be like the wrapper. So our math chart that we're gonna be using that um, you guys have in your journals, um, surface area section on cylinder. The first section is lateral, and it says you need to do two times pi times radius times the height of the cylinder. Um, and basically what that is doing is two times pi times r. This gets us the length across the top of the rectangle that was cut out, and then the height would just be the side of the can. Um, if you're doing the total surface area of the cylinder, we still have the lateral portion, but then we want to add in the two bases. The base is a circle, and area of a circle is pi r squared, and then we have the two because there's a top and bottom. The first example we want to look at, I'm going to be using 3.14 for pi instead of the pi symbol. I've got the math chart up here again so we can refer back to what formula we want to use. The first thing we're going to do is look at lateral. And the formula again for lateral, we just got through saying was the surface area. Whoa, that is a really thick pen. Um, the surface area or lateral area is going to be... 2 pi r h. Okay, so 2 times instead of pi, I'm going to use 3.14. Then the radius of this circle, remember radius only goes halfway across. So if I go halfway and stop, that's only 2. And then the height of the figure um, is on the side. And that is the 7. Whoops. Um, the 7 right here is the height. I'm going to type all of this in my calculator at once, one time. And when you do, you would end up getting the answer of 87.92. And area is measured in square units. So my final answer would be 87.92 square meters for a lateral surface area. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish out the question. I'm going to get the total. In the formula over here, the leftover part is my two bases. So if I want to get the two bases, they are a circle. And it says to do that, you would do 2 pi r squared. So 2 stays 2. Pi is going to be 3.14. And then the radius, remember, back over here is only halfway across, and it's a 2. So I'm going to put in 2. And it needs to be squared. I'm going to type that all the way in the calculator. And when I finish, the answer that I'm going to get is 25.12. Now to get the total, I would take this answer and connect it, add them all together, and your final answer would end up being 113.04, and again, areas measured in square units. Okay, one more example, just to practice this one more time. Lateral surface area, the formula we're going to use is 2 pi r h. 
and you don't have to memorize it it's right here on your chart and you'll get that whenever we take a test at any time and remember radius only goes halfway across the circle and this one already tells us the radius so we're good to go and then the height is what connects the two bases so I'm going to write all this down I would have 2 times 3.14 times for us the radius was six and the height of this particular can or cylinder was 12. when you type that all the way in your calculator the answer that you end up getting is 452.16 so the lateral surface area would remember be measured in square units so 452.16 square centimeters. Then I want to add in those two bases. The bases are circles. And when you look over here on your chart, the rest of lateral says 2 pi r squared. 2 pi r squared. 2 times 3.14 times this particular um, cylinder had a radius of 6 and it's going to be squared. Type that all in your calculator and you should get 226.08. That's only the value of the two bases. So my last step is to take both values, combine them together to get my total, which would be 678.24 and again make sure you have square um, centimeters for your final answer.